J3D's tips on 3D printing. This is my wash process. I put it in here with supports to remove most of the IPAs. You can see this is really dirty. I never clean this one. I'll refill it every once in a while using the IPA for my second wash, which is right here. As you can see here, there's a little bit of, you know, the white stuff that gets in the bottom. This is to separate the white so it doesn't come up when I'm cleaning them. You can see this one's a little bit dirty, but not too bad. Put it here, kind of blow off some of the IPA before I put it into this one. Uh, Cause I wanna keep this one as clean as I can for as long as I can. And this has been here for, uh, for several months. Um, then I'll move it here. I'll use the gun again to warm it up and remove the supports, remove most of the IPA and, and the models dry. I'll put in the supersonic cleaner because I want supersonic cleaner IPA to stay as clean as humanly possible. And so the way this works is when this one gets about as dirty as this one, which I got maybe you know six months or a year before that happens, I'll move this bucket to here, this bucket to here, this bucket I will use the gallons that the IPA comes in and leave it out in the sun. I will then um, kind of filter out the resin that's cleanish out of it and then use that resin to fill this up. I, I really don't use up a lot of IPA very fast. There is an investment about three and a half gallons of IPA per bucket. Mm -hmm. So the initial investment is pretty high, but after that's done, it lasts a really long time. For more tips and tricks, follow me at J3D Tech. If you need support with 3D printing, look for my guide or find me on the Liji Slicer Discord. Links in the description.